Today I'm going to show you how to calculate a linear regression using your Sharp EL531W calculator. So I'm going to show you the example of how to calculate the correlation coefficient R in the linear regression for the following data. First thing you want to do is you want to clear any previous data that you have in your calculator. So you're going to go to mode and zero for normal. And that just clears any previous data that's been entered. Now, since I want to actually do some statistics, and I'm going to do linear regression. You're going to go to mode, select one for stats, and then select one for linear, because we're doing linear regression, and you're in stats mode. Now we're going to enter in all this data here. So the first thing you're going to do is enter in 10. Then you're going to hit this STO button to store it. We'll give you a comma saying that's the x value, then 1003, press the M plus key, which is right beside it, and it's counting my data as we go. So we're going to repeat that. 15, storage, 1005, so I'm at two data points, 20, STO, 1010, M plus, so that's 3, 25. Storage one zero one one and plus so that's four and then thirty again one zero one four and there we've done five data points so now I want to get my equation and the equation comes in the form y equals a plus bx so hit clear just to get out of the screen and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit RCL and then you'll see on top of the bracket, there's an A value. So you're going to hit A, and it gives you your A value. So that's your y-intercept. Repeat that to get your B, so RCL. And it's right, this time it's right on top of the other bracket, the closed bracket, 0.56. And the last thing I'm going to show you how to get is your R value, so for your regression. And that's on top of the division key right here. And what you're going to do is that you're actually going to hit alpha and r and hit equals and there you have it, your regression. And that's how you do linear regression on your Sharp EL531W. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on how to use this calculator.